a door and a pipe. Don't know how to pick. Door is apparently the exit. So we go in the pipe. Looks like I'm going to need another diagram of all the rooms for this one. Hey, I got a spring. It's a lot of doors. I can't go through that one. At least not in this direction. I've never gone in a pipe yet. And there's no reason for me to grab a checkpoint yet. chance that in the off state oh I, I could go back to the door in the off state there's a tiny chance this behaves differently but no there's at least one place that having a spring would have been useful i think it was in here oh and that blaster also no it was one level further Something useful. A uh, spike ball is minimally useful. P switch here would give me a key coin. And yes, it was here. That. Or P state. I can't pick up that P switch. Gonna be a semi solid? Yeah, I can see the background of the semi solid now that I look for it. So this implies that I need to be able to switch the on off state in this room off so the vine can start growing and on so that it can continue growing. That doesn't look very doable. Definitely gonna need a diagram of this one. This is, I was gonna say this is the entry screen, but it's not. Can turn back on, but not off with that. So there are many copies of this room, it would appear. I've seen one where the active P block was the last one. This would be third, fourth. This is the third one. to get to here and then establish the P-State. So I need to pick that P-Switch up, but it's sitting right on the ground. So is there another P-Switch? Well, 
there at least is a place that I haven't gone before. As I try to understand this level, it's just right here. That feels like the safety coin that I should not collect. Oh. And I have to? I don't want to. See that hidden block? Yeah, it's going to be there forever now. And I'm back to the beginning. I'm pretty sure I saw the other side of these hard blocks somewhere. Blowing them up would be nice. Don't understand these yellow pipes at all unless they're just for resets. I have to turn back on to do anything. Just barely see that key coin glimmering over there. Don't think I've seen. Oh, I could pick up this Bob Bomb. So let's say I pick up this bomb bomb and I rush here. There's no hard box to explode. And I rush here. There's the hard box to explode. Okay. That's a thing I haven't done before. And to do that, I need the spring, which came from here, I think. Is the off state going to make that difficult? Oh, and here's a place to bring a pal. Oh, well, these will let me refresh bomb timers at the very least. This isn't where I meant to go, but as soon as I did it, I realized. Okay, okay. There, Bob Bomb. That's new? I need to bring a spring here, and I can get that coin. I think that I'm... Oh, this is the one that I couldn't go into before. I did technically see this room. Okay. sort of I'm not supposed to carry items in here. Oh, the pow. I need to get the pow here somehow. But I can't carry items here. Neither the spring nor the pow starts here. time to draw a diagram. Okay. 
So we're about to time out. This on off P block business must be significant somehow, but I'm not sure how yet. Okay, so from the entry, pipe takes us to the bumper room. And we've gotten key coin contained here. And the door. See, its its pipe indicates on one two. I don't know why it's number two out of one two three four five. But it seems to have. Number two indicated. Okay, so a door, because I think all of these things will stop labeling that, takes us to the key switch and POW room. We have key coin here. I think we've got one in each of the rooms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. This indicates one, two, three, four. Don't know if that's significant or what it means exactly. And the door from here takes us to call it the Baba Room. And there is a key coin here, for which we need to carry in a P-switch, it would seem. I need the P-state to not be active, I need to make it this far, and then I need the P-state to become active, and then I go further over. So, what is what number is this? Three. possible that if this is three and the p-switch and pow is four if i get a spike ball to roll over to the right over the top of the level will that hit the p-switch which is over in room number four and it might be to the right because i have not yet seen a p-switch that i can pick up and carry here at all. Okay, so I've got the muncher room. Which probably needs a pow. It's got a pipe to the exit. Blue pipe. Oh, a spring room. It's the spring room as well. And it's got a key coin. And we haven't gotten it. We need a POW for that. We've got too many details to record on this chart. Number five. The entry was, was zero, and none of them were lit up. And I've never seen room number one. Is that. The one that I needed the bomb for? Where does this door go? It goes into this one. Uh, okay, so the... The new door goes into... 
Spike. Spike shell shell mat room, which. Maybe there's a reason to go the other way through that door and some difficult way to actually make it happen. For now, let's repeat the bomb. And get access to that pipe and confirm that surely the shelmet room must be number one. And I know it's to the left of Bumper Room, which is number two. It is number one. And it does have a coin, which we have not collected. So that's the things that I know. I know for sure Hey, Toast Matt. I know for sure the room that the pipe indicates in the first position, as on, this, on the screen now, is to the left of the one that is indicated as number two, the with the bumper. And getting the shelmet up there is how I got that coin from the bumper room which is the only one besides the, the safety coin, which I was forced to collect. It's the only one that I've collected. So I think it's safe to assume that room number three is to the right here. That's the room that we got the Bob-omb from. The only thing I'm certain I want to try still is getting the spring again so that I can try to get... Oh, no. I used the spring to get this blaster up further. I'm not going to also be able to use the spring to get this spike ball to bounce over here. Unless I really get it up far. I get the blaster all the way up onto this semi solid, which I'm pretty sure is there. Will it blast the spike ball all the way over to here? I guess I'll try. try this and it's probably fa oh there's a one way i can't go up there i can't get the blaster any higher okay so if this it's room three the bumper room is to the left and getting a spike ball up there is not valuable and that doesn't go high enough anyways i would need to do something oh oh Oh! Oh! Something different, like that. Nope. I'm gonna run out of time. Nope. Uh, that is how that works, okay. 63 seconds. Can I get that coin again? Can I get that P-state again in order to get that coin? And... Grab a checkpoint to save it. Oh, I gotta be in position. I'm not in the right place. Very curious that I'm not allowed to go into the yellow pipes during the P-State. I wonder why.
Nope. Nope. Yes, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Um oh, seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two checkpoints. <laughs> So that means uh, which room was that? That was the spring room with the no, that's this room. The one just to the left of it, the Baba room. I got that coin. Basically forced it to go around to the beginning again. And I don't have a lot in the way of ideas for what to do now. I have had that POW before, and I need to get it to the Muncher Spring Room. Except it contains a no carrying objects dingus. So, how can I possibly get the POW in there? Every single room is scroll locked except for between two and four? No, this is. this is four. Between. One and two? This is four. There must be something useful to do down in those yellow pipes, or up really, because it's the main world. Okay, if this is room... Four, then I've got... Two and three besides me. Two. Is the bumper room, which has an on off switch. But I don't think I can use it. This is four. Oh no, so two is bumper room, which is not beside me. Three and five are beside me. Three is the Babam room, which does not contain an on off switch. Five is the spring muncher room, which does. But it's got an empty space here. So unless I could damage boost, which I can. Let's see, if I get a spike, Miss Pshelmet, and. Stand on what I think is the other side of this wall and hold the bomb inside the wall. I think it'll reach this on off switch. Okay, I'm looking for just reopening the spike room. Shell it. Shelmet room. So I can wear a shelmet. So I can go pick up a bomb again. And I want to start in the off state. Which I think I'm kind of forced to. Travel back in this direction. Okay. Well, I grab a bomb. And I bring it from here is room three back to room four. And I hold it in the wall. Oh, but where in the wall? What is that one 
two, three, four blocks. Three empty blocks and then the fourth block from this ground. Yeah, that, that level is the top of that door, right? So one, two, three, off, two for the door, empty. And then the fourth one is the on off switch. PP room, which is here. No, he's not here. Uh, I'm stuck. PP room. Number four, which is where I should have just been, but yeah, P switch and pow. Did I run right through here? Cause I was confused. Ugh. Also, I can only get three off the or two off the floor here. Or no, is that one more? Okay, not four. Screen. Measure from the screen. So one, two ugh, blocks off the bottom of the screen. And then three, four, five more. And then number six is where this is. I don't think I can stand in that place, especially with those on blocks there in the P-Switch power room. And I don't think I can come close to doing it while I'm counting a, a bob on timer. to a PP room. Yeah, I need to be higher than that. No, I don't. That works. Okay. Uh, is this the shortest path to a checkpoint now? No, because I can't get in that red pipe from here. Just have to go all the way through. Uh, so that was the P-switch pal. I got that one. Which means number five, the muncher room. Number one, the shelmet room is what remains. How in the world am I ever going to get a pal here? state but I can get to this room and just make the peace state again don't die that's all I need and rush around through the doors back to that room I think I can do that uh, do I want the bob -omb for anything no I don't need this helmet I could use the helmet to make the bob -omb. state longer so we'll go all the way into the this room make the peace state myself this is number four make the peace state here myself go into the door to number two walk over to number one and i'll have that coin 
This door. I feel like I need the spring and the pow there to make progress. I can't possibly have both. Okay, checkpoint achieved. Uh, that is coin from room number one. So coin from room number five. It's all that really remains. Without a reset, uh, what am I trying to say? Something about remote work. Don't know how I power away a muncher remotely. It has to be on the screen, right? Unless I somehow get a shelmet thrown into a pow that is off screen. Which room? Which room is this? Number. Four, which is immediately to the left of number five. So if I carry a shelmet into room number five and throw it up and left, will it fall onto the pow? And defeat the muncher even though the pow isn't on screen? quite understand the on off. Don't well, I guess the, the the one coin did require manipulating the on off. But otherwise I only needed to manipulate it when I had direct access to it. Okay, so there's Careful and put one on now that I've got access to it before I go throwing one in my face and killing myself or something. Okay. I carry this to room five, which is turn back on and go through all the doors. And the spring is already in that room, so I can get up high. I can't get this the shelmet there. Unless Oh no! Well that that's why I'm wearing a shelmet. And it turns out I think I need it for the I'm never gonna be able to pick it back up. I can bounce it above me. Okay, I can't pick it back up by forcing myself into the ceiling. Okay, so now Oh here I am. Is that all I need? Yes! So the yellow pipes were all about hinting the relative order of the rooms. Huh. Thank you for the GGs.